Chris here from Perma Systems. Things are starting to warm up. Finally, after a long winter, the giraffes feel a lot better. They don't like it too cold. Grapes are popping. Citrus is blooming. Smells heavenly. Olives popping. Our dock growing up, just a, a native plant. I think it's native. Great um, as an indicator for wetter spots. And I've found that ladybugs go crazy over it. Kai apple is coming back. It's a little more cold sensitive, so it takes a while. We planted some new things uh, recently, like this jelly palm. Not as new, but the strawberry tree. Again, like. A lot of the things I plant in here are a little more cold sensitive since they come from like temperate or Mediterranean climates. You can see lots of leaves like on the mulberry, a little brown, brown leaves, on the macadamia. Citrus didn't like it. No, just kidding. That is a really old, old tree that my dad planted, uh, gosh, at least 30 years ago. Jujube starting to sprout planted another kind of citrus we just eat tons and tons of lemons so we decided to plant um, a eureka uh, near our meyer lemon and they produce at um, you know relatively uh, different times so you can get a crop for a lot longer favas are just popping up all over the place you know the citrus too it just they got cold but it's coming back. Strawberry guavas. Ooh, we're gonna have a lot of those. Look at all those blooms and all the citruses. Well, I mean, at least these older ones of the really pretty more pink blossoms. They're super happy. Goji berries are getting happy, popping up through some of the plants. Again, ice cream bean. Some doesn't like the cold, you can tell, but it's still pushing through. Still doing fine. Even in the cold, it was producing seeds and fruit and the birds you can see loved them so nice and there's uh even more still coming so i think it can't be doing too bad i'm getting more favas everywhere there's remnants from wildflowers um last spring we put in tons of wildflowers for our wedding in here to pick and enjoy so they're all coming back there's asparagus we put in here but kind of got overcrowded and we couldn't rip out all these pretty flowers, so we're gonna let them go and see how the asparagus does. This kai apple really started producing this past year. And see if it's this big, then you know the cold doesn't affect it as much. Our oldest macadamia still hasn't produced, but one of our younger ones, I just got our first crop of it right over there. Check that out in a minute. Let's see, let's go this way. Um, Palo Verde, super happy. Tahoba, doing better and better. I'm excited. Hopefully get some seeds off of it this year. You can see them starting to produce. They taste so good. And this plant just can survive on such little water. And uh, the nuts almost, uh, they kind of taste a little bit like hazelnuts. But... You can grow them in dry areas. All our grafts are coming in good. Look at that. Solid. Graft in there, solid, and they're starting to bloom. So you know, the reason we grafted these on is the old trees here, and there's another one over there, weren't producing fruit. I think they're varieties that um, just needed more chill hours than we have in our warm microclimate here on top of a hill in backcountry San Diego County. And so uh, I cut down the old big trunks, branches, trees, got some sprouts to come up. And so we cut out all that infested wood and started fresh with different varieties that don't need as much chill. Like, what is this? Persian green plum. Mm -mm -mm, that sounds good. Loquats. Starting to produce this, I'm pretty sure it was just started from a seed 
So we don't know what kind of fruit it's gonna get. You know, the odds are against it's gonna make anything that good. I mean, those don't look bad though. Last year it had some, they're just small and seedy. But uh, we grafted on this variety. Where is that graft? There we go. And it's looking really good. So, uh, what is the name? Hopefully there's a tag. Yay, remembered. Um, Jazzy. Jazzy Loquat. Got that from the California Rare Fruit Growers Association Scion Exchange Meeting. What a mouthful. But uh, those are the guys that know the most about all kinds of yummy fruits and are just so great to learn there. Anyhow, got this grafted on. We'll slowly let that grow up and then I think just cut all this down, let that come up, and then maybe next time we'll get another variety. We'll see. But one thing we tried this year for fun, we had all these dragon fruits and I didn't feel like building a good trellis system. So we're under this pepper tree and you know, a lot of times pepper trees aren't the most loved. They can be kind of invasive and cause problems, but we just put all our um, dragon fruit in small pots and in the tree. And I don't know, I've seen some just get crazy and this would be a great place to do it. They're in the small pots, so hopefully they'll go a little slower. I'm sure their roots will find their way in the in the ground eventually. This passion fruit is an experiment that it's like two years old. Hasn't been growing. You know, it's kind of shady in here, too shady, too cool. But a lot of the things we do here are just experiments to see who grows here, who doesn't, who likes it, who's happy, who's sad. Pomegranates, a few different varieties, so happy. It's an old stone fruit, also doesn't produce. Someday I'll cut it down and graft something on that gets us some fruit. There's sumac. And our first apple tree, just planted last year, is already making some apples. This is um, an Anna's, right? Oh no, this was, um, that was a graft I did and then I accidentally kicked it off. What did we put here? Oh, there it is. Dorset Golden. Yes. Yummy, yummy. Some macadamia. We put in a boop, little fig here. Uh, black locust, which in some places can really take over and be a problem, but we're real dry here. We can use some nice fast growing trees, some good nitrogen fixers. And so let's see how it does. And then we have kind of a wall of kai apples here with pomegranates to help block this western sun. And just in the summer, this is kind of like west and north. So in the summer, really want a nice wall here to keep the sun from beating down on some plants like figs that want a little bit more water and don't need that super, super hot sun, even though they like the heat. Oh, this citrus tree is loaded. Wow, it's doing so good. And then uh, this is the macadamia that gave us some seeds. You can see, that was me, not a little animal, um, taking out all the inner shells. And we're looking good for maybe another harvest. There's a bunch of blossoms on here. And then our couple guavas, this is uh, I think White Princess. See the cold, definitely took an effect on it. But they'll come back, you know, it'll be fine. Wahe tree, nitrogen fixer from Oaxaca. Also doesn't love the cold, but it'll bounce back. Oh, here's the other one that I grafted. Oh, wow, it's getting a bunch of peach leaf curl. Oh, that's too bad. It was blooming. See, I thought, oh yeah, here's some fruit coming. It's okay. Yeah, these things take time to grow back, but this was an even bigger one than the other. You can see that stump. So it'll come back. A little leaf curl. That's no problem. And then just fava city, fava, 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 
all over and with our wildflowers looking so good and none of this has gotten a single drop of water this entire year we just put everything in and they're looking good um excited too about our carob trees they're looking really good they make the best seeds and fruit and pods and so really excited to get growing some of them get some of them growing <laughs> um our sweet peas growing up all over so um for carobs we do need a male and a female to pollinate so we got one there one there and planted another one over there ah oh, everything looks so happy over here too more sweet peas sweet peas for days all kinds of yummy weeds we've been eating tons of stinging nettle mallow um, lamb's quarters it's got a lot of it so we eat a lot of it it's really tasty see this one is a mallow that's tasty so I think it's the main updates in here so we're looking great um, soil still moist still nothing needs water I think we can go for a while without any more water just nice with that warmth to get things popping and we're gonna keep planting in here you know we want to start establishing you know some smaller shrubs you know we're getting these upper stories in you know macadamias are gonna be upper stories different trees like the wahe upper stories tipu upper stories um, Chinese elm upper stories those are starting to get up there so we want to do more lower stories shrubs and um, more vines um, to grow on some of the plants grow on some of the fences around here uh, like the grape we have this conquerberry you plant it it grow it can grow like a shrubby tree thing but also can kind of vine up on fences again doesn't like the cold but <laughs> it'll it'll come back okay Ooh, and how <gasps> oh yes well you're doing okay our peruvian guava our little baby oh i'm so glad you're doing good that's going to be a fun plant okay well thanks for checking in exciting to see what's growing here and everywhere and lots of beautiful things happening uh so we'll talk again later bye